Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. It is 4.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And I wanted to do a quick video on two subjects. The first is about me personally. I'm doing okay. Um, feeling a little bit isolated and lonely from all this coronavirus isolation stuff. I did go out and ride my bike today. It's pretty nice weather out today in Rochester. It's about 50 degrees. 40, 50 degrees outside, so I decided to take my bike off and exercise. Sometimes you go stir crazy, and sometimes the best thing for that is uh, to exercise. Ride your bike, go for a walk, lift weights. Um, I don't lift weights the way I used to. Um, especially solitary lifting weights is extremely boring and um, tedious. It's more interesting to ride a bike or go for a walk than it is to lift, lift weights or do things by myself as far as exercise. Um, Cause I didn't exercise all that much during the winter. Certainly not outside. Um, I see people running around in the snow sometimes, jogging and doing long term, long length running, um, long distance running in the middle of snowstorms. So that's not the way I do things. I'm too lazy for that. Um, but uh, I'm doing okay. My paranoia gets a little bit bad sometimes, when, especially when I'm alone for too long a period of time. Um, I think my neighbors are talking about me or laughing about me or are trying to hurt me in some way. I know intellectually that's not true. Um, sometimes when I'm outside, I think people are following me. And um, I used to call it, blame it on gang stalking, but I know now since I started taking medications that gain stalking isn't real. It's a fantasy, a very ugly fantasy that lifted when I started taking medications. All the people that were supposedly following me, like the government, suddenly stopped following me when I got on the right medications, which are Haldol, Seroquel, Remeron, and a few other drugs that I'm taking for schizophrenia. Um, but, uh, I'm doing okay. My depression, anxiety is not as bad as some people's. I know there's a lot of people out there who have lost their jobs and they don't know how they're going to feed their kids. So my situation isn't all that bad. I don't have any kids. I've never had any kids. The only person I'm taking care of is myself. And so my situation is admittedly a lot better than other people's in this world who are trying to deal with losing a business, losing their job because of a business closed small business closings and people uh, applying for unemployment and all that. Um, I'm grateful for everything I have and I don't want to complain and think, say that I'm like suffering more than anybody else because that simply isn't true. Um, but anyways, to the second thing I wanted to do this video, I wanted to do this video on Elon Omar and Alexandria Ocasio, I think that's the way it's pronounced, Ocasio-Cortez. They're both um, congresswomen that serve in the federal House of Representatives of Congress. Um, they're both communists, racists, Marxists, extremists, anti-Semites. They both hate the United States. They both um, are extreme left-wing uh, politicians. They're supporting Marxist ideas. They're trying to take advantage of the cold coronavirus crisis, the COVID-19 crisis by pushing far left uh, Marxist, cultural Marxist uh, ideas and trying to restructure government and destroy capitalism, destroy individual freedom, destroy the free market, um, all in the name of their imaginary racist enemies. Um, people who are racist are not the ones that eat on Omar and Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez say are racist. They are the two racists. They are vehemently racist, and particularly they're anti-Semitic. They hate it. They hate Israel, and Israel is one of our closest allies, one of our few friends that we actually have in the Middle East. That's actually a democracy. Um, Elon Omar has surrounded herself with open anti-Semites. People who are openly against Israel and want to destroy Israel. 
Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is the same way. She's an anti-Semite. She's a racist. She's a bigot. She's a pig. They're both pigs. Um, and uh, I don't deny that they're both educated. They both worked their way up through hard times, got college educated, went on to become members of Congress. I'm sure that took a lot of talent, a lot of hard work. But that doesn't change the fact that they are serving in the U.S. Congress House of Representatives in the country for a country they hate. It's kind of ironic that they would serve in the political system of the United States when it's the United States itself that they hate and they hate anyone who isn't like them or disagrees with them and they're particularly anti-white racist and they make up imaginary conspiracies of racist, patriarchal, anti-women, um, patriarchy or some bullshit. They are both uh, pigs, AOC as she's known, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and Elon Omar are disgusting racist pigs. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you want to make sure you get me notified when I have new videos put out, just press the notification bell because even if you're subscribed to me, you might not get uh, notifications that I put out a new video, so hit the notification bell. I don't ask for money to do these videos. Um, if you want to help me out, just share my videos on uh, social networks. Take care of each other and yourselves during this coronavirus crisis.